Faces to the horror and the desperation of the people in Afghanistan and their links to India with many of their relatives right here. What are the chances India today's Milan Sharma tracking down one person whose cousin was actually an eyewitness to those young men falling from that C-17. Now speaking of C-17s, this giant aircraft has become ubiquitous during the Afghanistan crisis. It's practically photobombed every single simmering, exploding moment in this unfolding story of conflict in the most dangerous place in the world. Let's tell you a little bit more about the C-17, whether it's the US Air Force or the, C or the Indian Air Force or the Qatari Air Force bringing in the Talibani leadership to Kabul. The C-17 has been front and center as the most visible aircraft in this developing story. Take a look. It was a C-17 that roared off Kabul's runway with desperate Afghans clinging to it. It was a C-17 from which they fell to their deaths, becoming the infamous face of the American pullout from Afghanistan. It was a C-17 whose cavernous interiors were packed with nearly 650 Afghans being flown out of Kabul. It was a C-17 that India sent to Kabul to pull out Indian citizens. And it was a C-17 that delivered Taliban leader Mullah Ghani Baradar from Qatar to his homeland. Amidst the world's biggest geopolitical meltdown, this giant American aircraft has become practically omnipresent, visible in nearly every frame of the erupting story. Whether it was the chaos at Kabul airport, where US attack helicopters were forced to shoo people off the runway for the jet to take off safely, or the heart-stopping, desperate tragedy of the falling men, and India's own push to pull out every Indian safely. The C-17 Globemaster III is the largest military transport jet in Indian service. With 11 such aircraft based in Hindon near Delhi, India is the biggest operator of the C-17 outside the United States. Let's tell you why the C-17 has perhaps become so visible in the current Afghanistan crisis. Built by Boeing till 2015, C-17s have massive and flexible cargo capacity capable of carrying hundreds of people at a time if necessary. The aircraft is designed for very short takeoff distances and can even operate on unprepared or compromised airfields. The C-17 is big enough to deliver a single heavy tank or multiple military fighting vehicles. It can even carry a helicopter inside it. While the Kabul evacuation is the latest mission assigned to the Indian Air Force C-17, the giant jets have earned their reputation well in the last few years. From flying disaster response teams to Chennai in 2015 during the historic floods, to flying relief into Kerala during the floods in 2018. To flying to Wuhan and Iran to evacuate Indians during the Covid outbreak last year. To flying oxygen tanks during the devastating Covid second wave this year. Indian C-17s have also crisscrossed the region, delivering relief during natural disasters, like to Fiji during a cyclone in 2016. The Indian public is familiar with the C-17 as the giant that cuts across the sky during Republic Day flypasts as well. A hardened military aircraft with a great deal of war on its belt but with a habit of saving lives in the most dangerous places in the world. Bureau Report, India Today.